When you will work in a portfolio management software on the blockchain where you have to provide all the data about the transaction which a user is doing and when they are monitoring their portfolio. So it becomes very easy that you have to know that how you can decode the transaction hash and get the data out of it. Because sometimes what happens that you're going to build a certain tool, certain software which can keep the track of the transaction for the users or for any particular token. So in that context, it's become very easy that you have to know that how you can decode the data and you can find that all the information which are there in that particular transaction hatch, okay? So in this video, I'll talk about the one software which you can utilize it to decode the transaction hatch just for testing purpose. And it's a very simple application. You can add this kind of facilities, this kind of feature in your own portfolio management software okay this site called eth text transaction decoder so here you have to click and you have to select the network which you want to decode the transaction hat so here i will go with the main net and here you have to paste the transaction hat so i'll come back to the ether scan and here you will find all the transaction which is currently happening on the ethereum blockchain from here you can easily able to switch the network so you can come to the network section where it is so like, like you can click here and here you will have the different network, but we are going to do in the Ethereum minutes. So what I will do, I'll come here, I'll go to this first transaction which happened very recently. And here you will find all the transaction which happened in this particular block. So this one is happened 58 seconds ago. Click on this transaction hash because this is the hash we have. Click on this and here you got the hash of the transaction. Simply grab that one and come back to this application. And all you have to do is to paste the transaction hash and this will give you the complete data of that particular transaction. So click on this decode and here you will find it will decode the transaction. So just wait, it will take a little bit time and it will give you the complete data about this particular transaction. So here you will find all the transaction. You will find the block number when the transaction in which block the transaction is stored, the timestamp. And here you will find the transaction cost the user has paid for making this transaction in terms of ETH, in terms of USD. And here you will have the gas used for doing this transaction. So this is the sender address. You can click and you can open this into the ether scan. You will find the receiver address and you can see the amount which got deducted from the sender and updated into the receiver. Here you will find the sender token. So what is the currency? So they are dealing in ETH. You will find the amount and the recipients. And here you will find the execution track. So this one is also very important. So it's very helpful for you if you are into the product development on the blockchain, which provide user to keep the track of their transaction actions and you can use this tools this system to do like automatic trade so just imagine that you want to analyze the gas fee which a user is paying for making the transaction for a fixed amount of money in particular time period okay so in that context you can easily able to monitor that at which time the gas cost is high looking at the all transaction in that particular duration so you can build a system where you're going to plug this and you can able to compare all the transactions so this one is really helpful okay if you come back to the ether scan this is a particular transaction we are looking for here you find the this is the address for the sender this is for the, the sorry this is for the sender and this is for the recipient and you can easily able to decode that okay so i just want to tell you come and have a look that how they have built the system how the entire or the entire background code is working so if you really want to know you can simply click on this getup and you can come to the getup and here you can able to find that what are the tools softwares they have used to build this tool okay so they have given all these explanations that how the transaction data is getting decoded and how you can able to fetch the informations so everything is pretty well explained here it's not that complicated okay so i just want you to come and have a look because this is going to be a really helpful and it's going to be a good project if you build a uh, a DAP or a application where you allow user to decode this information in nice and formatted manner so they can easily able to have the data that what they have spent and they can easily able to manage their portfolio. So this one is pretty amazing because recently I found this tools and I try to integrate this tool in one of my projects so that's why I thought let's share with you all so you guys can come and experiment with this. Okay, so that's the only thing I want to talk about in this video. Hope you guys have found this video valuable. And if you still have any confusion, any doubt, and if you guys really want me to make a video on different tools, which I use on my day-to-day -day basis for my smart contract development, for the analytical part on the blockchains, for making the trading bots, all of those things. So do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to come with that and you guys can get the benefit from it. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.